All right, so here's how easy it is to get your tracking spreadsheet up and running. First step is to pull up the listing spreadsheet. And if you go all the way down to the accounting data tab, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab all of the data that's in there. Make sure you do not grab the headers. Scroll down. You can hold shift and then click and then pull all your data that way. We're gonna copy it. You can just do control C or you can right click and hit copy. We're gonna run back over to the tracking spreadsheet and this step's actually really important. Make sure you right click and click on paste special. And again, this screen will look slightly different on a, on a PC versus a Mac, but you're just gonna say values. We don't want any of the format coming back over. We just want the values only. Say okay. That's gonna drop our data in here and the spreadsheet's gonna be off and running. The second thing we need to do is go get a sales report from Amazon. So going back to the listing sheet, every time you list a new shipment and you put your shipping information and the costs and all that, just copy paste the data, scroll all the way down and just drop your new data one cell further down and just keep working your way down this sheet. Okay. Within Seller Central, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under reports and click on payments and it's gonna bring up this screen, although the tab will be over here on statement view. You're gonna scroll over and click on the date range report and then we're gonna say generate a report. We're gonna do the transaction report. That's gonna give us the data we need. And we're gonna go select a month. Now, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you only select a full month. You could pull individual dates, but then you're gonna to have to go back in and pull these reports several times a month and hopefully that you don't overlap your data. So just wait for the end of the month, be patient and pull a report for the entire month. So we're just gonna get January of 16 in this case. Click generate. And these reports, even if you have a lot of data, generally um, get pulled relatively quickly. So go ahead and click refresh, refresh a few times until it uh, is ready to go. There we go. Click download. I'm using Chrome, so it just throws it into the bottom of the tab here. Very easy to do. As soon as it's done downloading, click it to open it up. So here is our January monthly transaction data. Looks like a bunch of gibberish until the tracking spreadsheet can uh, clean that up. Again, do not grab the, the headers here. Come down to the first time you see a date. You can actually hit Control, Shift, and then use your arrow keys and go all the way over to the right, and then all the way down, and that gets all your data. And then again, you can do Control C to copy it, or in this case, we're just gonna copy again. We're gonna take this data, go back over to our tracking spreadsheet, pull up the Sales Data tab, and go all the way to the top. Make sure you don't copy over the headers. And again, we're gonna do Paste Special, we're gonna do values only and presto, there's our data. And you'll see it's calculating on the bottom. There's a lot of uh, rows in this spreadsheet that are calculating, but it should, should go very, very quickly. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna work your way back through. These are all um, tables. So you're gonna right click and say refresh data and it'll pull all the data in so we can see what we've just listed here. So we can see we've got 57 items listed in that batch for a total of $1,100. You can see your metrics, $28 for the inbound shipping. We can look at our monthly metrics. And again, that's pulled in. Nothing sold yet out of this uh, February 16. They were listed in February. That's why the February date shows up. And these charts will automatically update, although with very little data, there's not much to show yet. So just give that a break. Same thing with sales rank analysis. None of, nothing is sold, so uh, everything's at zeros. But just wait, good things will happen. Uh, if you come over to the income statement, this was set up for last year and we just pulled January 16. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is type in 1116. And for the end date, we're gonna go with 13116. And that's gonna pull up all our data from January, just like that, very, very quickly um, and very simple to do. And you can go ahead and check your stats like we've done before. And that's it, you're up and running.